channel y'all should already know who it is or you should know who it is the ceo of i tasty and as y'all can tell i'm back with another video excuse my hair y'all i'm not getting my hair done until a few days for my vacation so this is what we're gonna be going with for the next few days but if you are new to my channel be sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not new welcome back as y'all can tell from the title this video is on all the business essentials I feel are needed to successfully run an online business. If you are new here and you do not know, I do run an online business, a lash business. And this is my third year in business. My business has been strictly online from the minute it opened, from the day I launched September 4th of 2019. My business has been strictly online. So I'm going to talk to you guys about all the different... Um, essentials that i use a majority of everything that i have is from amazon so if you click the link i do have an amazon storefront link in my description box it's always in my description box so if you click that link i do have a business essential section where you can find everything that will be featured in this video so we're gonna get straight to it so the first thing that i have is my handy dandy shipping scale so, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a minute from the beginning when I started it over, then y'all have seen this scale before. This is the same exact shipping scale that I started. And y'all, I hope I'm looking at the right spot because this is the first time I'm recording a sit-down video in a minute, so I don't even know where to look. But, this scale, I have had it since 2019, you guys, from Amazon. This is the scale I started my business with. It's the same scale I'm using. A shipping scale is a must. A shipping scale and a printer is a must when it comes to running an online business because the point of running it online is it's going to be strictly ran from online. And of course, you can still schedule pickups to where you don't have to leave your house, which I don't do anymore. But a shipping scale and a printer is, is, is mandatory. So my shipping scale is from Amazon. Like I said, I got this from Amazon. A printer which is the next thing I'm going to go into. My printer I did not get from Amazon. This is actually a thermal printer. I got this from Rolo, but the paper that I use to refill my printer is from Amazon. So if you do not know what a thermal printer is, a thermal printer is basically a printer that does not use ink. It is a very good investment. This was the best investment, one of the best investments I made towards my business. This was like my... I want to say my second big purchase, I want to say. I think my camera, my camera was my first big purchase. I bought that on my birthday before my first year in business. And then my second purchase was this printer. I don't remember how much I paid. It was about $200, I believe. But let me just say this. Do not go running and buying a Rolo printer, a thermal printer, just because I said so. I said a printer. I'm showing y'all the one I use. Please do not run and buy. I feel like this is not necessary if you first start your business. I didn't get this until I was like a year in business. And I bought it because it was at the point where I was buying ink two to three times a week. And ink is very expensive. If you're at the point where you're buying ink at least two to three times a week, then you need to go ahead and invest in one of these. And you do not have to, you know, actually get the Rolo. They have Dymos. They have other versions of it that work fine from what I've heard from other people I know that use them. So you don't necessarily have to get this one, but this was the one I chose to get. And I did get it directly from Rolo. So if you do consider getting this, since it is kind of pricey compared to regular printers, I would recommend getting it from Rolo directly. That way, if anything goes wrong with it, you can contact Rolo. If you get it from a third party, you can't really contact Rolo because you got it from a third party. So this is the one that I use. Like I said, it doesn't use ink. So this was one of the best investments I made for my business because all I have to do is buy paper. Like, imagine not using ink. I don't know how they do that, but I love it. So the next essential is definitely packaging when it comes to packaging there's so many different things you could do some people have custom boxes and all that good stuff but for me when I first started my business I got my packaging from Amazon bubble mailers and stuff from Amazon eventually I did go to Uline so if you have not heard of Uline Uline is another company kind of like Amazon but it has things in bulk so if you're purchasing like a hundred bubble mailers at a time Uline would definitely be your best route because Uline has a whole lot of business type of things for in bulk for cheaper than you can get it for on Amazon. So definitely check Uline out. I use Uline for a long time, but now for the most part, I use the post office packaging. 
so I use the post office packaging. The post office packaging is free, but you must ship priority. So if you did not know, the post office does offer free packaging. They have boxes, they have bubble mailers, they have so many different boxes. Just Google USPS free boxes. You'll see the link to all the boxes. They also have them in store at most post offices but you must ship priority priority shipping starts at about eight dollars and change so you cannot use this if you are shipping first class so this does not work for everybody if you're selling lip gloss selling like you know small items this is not needed for your business you have to purchase packaging if you choose so it like i said it just depends on what you sell i sell lashes oops I sell lashes and another thing is priority. If you're not sure what's considered priority, priority is anything that's 16 ounces, which 16 ounces is a pound. So as long as it weighs a pound, it's considered priority. So if you sell something that weighs at least a pound, that's automatically considered priority. I ship priority whether somebody buys a few lashes or not. And if you regularly shop with me, then y'all know I like to do like flash sales and stuff like that. When I do flash sales, you're still charged the same priority flat rate shipping fee and I just pay the difference so it actually works out in my customers favors because they can get whatever they want to get like all they can get a hundred lashes during the flash sale and still just pay $8.99 shipping and I pay the difference so it works out in their favor another thing with priority is it comes with insurance so if your package is lost you can file a claim you can get your money back with the post office I personally love priority and it's faster even though now with the pandemic stuff are being delayed it's they say it's two to three days but it's not guaranteed but it is faster than first class so that's another thing so yeah I personally like I said I use the post office packaging but I also keep backup packaging in case I do run out because if you order online sometimes it can take a long time and sometimes in store they don't have any so it's best to always have backup I bought these from Amazon, which this was an accidental purchase. I wasn't trying to get this color, but I do have poly mailers. So if you do want to buy, you know, cheap, affordable bubble mailers, these do have bubble in them. You can also buy poly mailers, which again, I bought these off of Amazon. So you can package your orders in this and then put them in these bags so it can still have a cute look to it and go with your brand they have so many different colors on here so there's so many oops there's so many different packagings that you can find off of amazon the next thing i want to talk about is a computer now i also feel like if you don't have a laptop or computer at the time that you start your business i feel like it's not that much required like oh i need i'm about to start a business let me go buy a computer right now because when i started my business even though i had a laptop i had an imac and i still have it i can still do things off of my phone the only things that you cannot do off of your phone is pretty much sending out emails and seeing there are things you can't see off of your phone but when it comes to running an online business, if you're starting off, a computer is not like rec it's not needed that minute that second like you can still launch your business without a computer if that makes sense because if you have a wireless printer a bluetooth printer you can print your orders directly from your phone directly from your ipad when i started my business even though i created it you can even design your website from your phone you guys like it's so many things you can do off of your phone nowadays you can design your website off of your phone whenever i'm about to have a sale if i'm at work or something i switch up my website when I'm at work, add flyers, add things, all at work. You could do all of that on your phone, okay? So, again, yeah, if you have a wireless printer, you can still print orders and everything directly from your phone. You would just have to connect your printer to your phone, Bluetooth and stuff like that, and print it out. But if you... A printer is going to be needed... Uh, not a printer, y'all. A computer is going to be needed a eventually because... You cannot send out marketing emails and stuff like that off of your phone. You need a computer for that. I have an iMac computer. Not an iMac. I have a um, MacBook Air, but now I have a my, uh, iMac. Yeah, I cannot speak. <laughs> I have an iMac computer. So I'm going to try to remember to show y'all a close-up of my iMac. She's super, super cute. She is pink. I love having a desktop computer, and it's strictly used for my business and or slash editing youtube videos so i use it for my business to print out orders to send out emails it's a big screen i do everything off of there i'm even starting to play around with flyers and make flyers on there as well on canva so 
A computer definitely is needed, but it's not that much of an emergency. Like you can't start your business without a computer. When it comes to what computers to get, I personally cannot tell you. Like I said, I had a, a MacBook Air for the longest. That was my college computer and I didn't have no issues with it. But they are pricier than a regular, you know, what computers do they have? HP, Chromebooks. It, the Mac is definitely cheaper, but I, I haven't run into any issues. And a laptop is better, I feel like, when you're first started off because you can take your laptop with you everywhere. A desktop computer, you can only work on it at home, but now I have both. So if I am going out of town, you know, I can take my laptop with me. And if I am at home, I can just use my desktop. Simple as that okay so the next business essential for online business of course is the inventory but this is not it just depends because if you're a drop shipper then of course you may not have the inventory on hand but i can't speak on drop shipping because i've never drop shipped before but if you're running an online business of course you need some type of inventory on hand because when it comes to running on an online business, you have to constantly, well, I'm not going to say you have to constantly post, but you need proof that you have the inventory, especially when you're a new business. If you're just posting stock photos all day, every day, most likely nobody's going to shop with you. Maybe the people that know you in real life, they're going to shop with you. But as far as new people coming across your page, they may think you're a scammer. They may think that you, those are not your photos. So inventory is definitely very important as running an online business even if you don't have a lot of inventory you don't have to ball out because again i didn't start my business with this much inventory i started my business with 100 lashes like 20 lip glosses what else was i selling some body butters you don't need thousands of things to start your business you can start small even if you have 50 lashes just make sure you take quality photos, which is the next thing I'm going to get into, which is a ring light. I'm currently using my ring light, which again, I also purchased from Amazon. So everything that I pretty much am talking about is from Amazon. My storefront link will be down below. But um, yeah, you need inventory. You need a ring light so that you can take quality photos. You don't need an expensive photo session or stuff like that. You can literally take quality photos all from your house. Be creative. Think of whatever your brand's theme is. If you have a beach theme going on with your brand, find some little props, take some quality photos. And that's that. And a ring light goes a long way. I feel like a ring light is essential. Essential because a ring light makes the quality 10 times better. It makes the lighting 10 times better. Especially if you got a big ring, big ring light like me. Now, again, at first you don't need a big ring light because I started with a little handy dandy small one with a little stand. So you can start small. You do not have to, you know, ball out at first. Use your money for inventory. Use your money for other things. But a ring light is essential, and I definitely feel like inventory is essential. You do not have to have a lot of inventory, especially when starting off, but you still want to have something that if you're going live, you can show products. If you're taking posting content, you can show products. Now, if you are using boxes for your orders, of course, if you're using small bubble mailers, you're not going to need this. Is shipping tape. Now, this is not required. This is my branding shipping tape. I purchased this from Sticker Mule. It has my logo on it, which my logo has changed, but I have a lot of these. So I have this from Sticker Mule. You can also get something like this, which my customer sent me, which is from Amazon as well. It's a cute little pink tape dispenser as well as some cute tape. And while we're on that, the, the, the actual packaging part, the next thing, I don't feel like this is essential, is business cards. It's essential, but it's not essential. It's not essential for me because I'm a wholesaler, but I feel like it is essential for businesses because if, you were, if you're sending out packages to a first-time customer, of course you need them to have a business card so that they can tag you, etc. Me personally, like I said, I'm a wholesaler and all my customers, for the most part, are returning customers. They shop 10, 15, 30 plus times, so they already know who they got their stuff from. So I already have branded tape and stuff like that. 
so they know that they got their stuff from me so i i and it's not that i don't want to use business cards i really run out of them like i'll buy a thousand business cards and they'll be done within two weeks so i just forget to order them and i don't have them another thing i want to talk about is packing slips i personally do not use packing slips but if you are going to use packing slips then you will need a regular printer and not just a rollo but i have seen people that they do print out their packing slips in their rollo like with their rollo printer they'll just do it on the label so instead of using the big sheet of packing slip paper computer paper they'll print it on a four by six so that way they're saving money on ink but they'll be using up this paper again me personally i do not use packing slips i have never used packing slips since the minute i started my business three years ago what y'all decide to do with y'all's business is on you. I'm just speaking on me personally. I feel like it's a waste of paper. And again, my customers for the most part are returning customers. They know what they ordered. Because most of the, my customers are wholesale. Like 90 to 95% of my customers are wholesale customers. Their, their orders are for their brand. I'm supplying their brands. But if you're not supplying somebody's brand, if you are a retailer, then of course... Packing slips may be helpful because if you lay out your orders, that's another thing. I don't lay out my orders. I pack one order at a time. If you lay out your orders, packing slips will be helpful because you can check off everything that you're putting in the order so you know for a fact that the order, that the item is in the box because you checked it off. So yeah, so that's pretty much um, my business essentials as far as running an online business. These are all the things that I use on a daily basis, my printer, my scale, my um, packaging, my computer. These are all the things I use on the daily I hope that this video was helpful to anybody who came across it, who is in the process of starting a business. Like I said, everything I talked about, there's always an alternative. You don't have to buy a thermal printer at first. You don't have to get a computer at first if you don't have one because those are bigger purchases. Start small. Do not try to buy everything like with me. I didn't not start with this cubby I, I didn't start with these things I started small but I can still let y'all know you don't have to get these things at first so if you're not subscribed be sure to hit that subscribe button follow on Instagram follow my personal my business check out my website if you are interested in starting a lash business I have 30 different lash options available all ready to ship I sell lash applicators lash glue lash liner lash books magnetic lashes everything pertaining to lashes and i also wholesale shades as well but yeah i hope y'all like this video i'll see y'all in the next